Today I want to show you how to knit um, what I've seen most commonly referred to as the daisy stitch. It's these little shell-shaped, fan-shaped motifs on this swatch I've got going here. Um, so for this swatch, um, I cast on 14 stitches. Um, the motif is, if you're working at flat, it's usually worked on a multiple of 10 stitches plus 8. And um, if you're working in the round, um, you can do 10 stitches plus 8. But if you want to do um, a motif like this hat, I I designed, I did a multiple of um, 10 stitches, just a multiple of 10, so that when it staggered, it lined up evenly. Okay, so this is the left-handed tutorial for how to do this, and um, I first read about the daisy stitch in, a, in uh, the Reader's Digest Complete Guide to Needlework, like it was like a 1980-something edition that my mom had. Um, and in that book, they don't use a crochet hook to do this, but I find using a crochet hook just saves a ton of time, which you'll see in a moment why. Um, so yeah, so I've cast on 14 stitches so that I could have a border of two on each end of garter stitch just to help the swatch lay flatter for the purposes of demonstrating in this video. Um, so yeah, let's get going. Oh yeah, final note, sorry for all this buildup. Um, these two fans were knit right-handed, so the left one I'm about to show you will be one stitch to the left from where these are. Alright, let's get started. So, we've got to start with our two garter stitches on the edge of the swatch. And then we knit three. One, two, three. And then, grabbing your crochet hook, go two stitches onto the right needle and three down. So one, two, three. One, two, three. And stick your crochet hook through that third loop. And grab your working yarn from the back and bring it right through that loop. And then I usually put it on my, if I'm working left-handed, I put it on my right-hand needle and then transfer it to my left-hand needle, making sure the loop, even though it's giant, is leading the same way as the other stitches on the needle. And make sure it's not too tight, otherwise you can make your work curl up. All right, then knit two stitches like normal. Grab your crochet hook and insert it through that same exact loop you inserted it through the first time. Oops. And uh, grab your yarn, your working yarn, and bring it back through again. Drop it onto that loop and bring it to the other, to your left hand needle, and make sure your loop is laying the same way as the rest of the loops on the needle. That's the biggest reason why I put it on the right hand needle when I use the crochet hook, honestly. Because when you use a crochet hook, you can twist stuff all different directions. Um, so that's why I just add that little step. So that's one loop, knit two, second loop, knit two, knit two more, and grab a last loop through that same exact hole as you did the first two times and grab your working yarn and bring it through. Put it on your needle and then grab it and make sure it's laying the correct way on the left needle. So now you've done your three loops, creating your daisy, making sure they're not too tight and you work the rest of the row. And remember, I've got two garter stitches on the edge of this swatch. So the next row if you're working flat, you'll be switching to the wrong side and purling. And if you're working in the round, you'll be knitting everything that I am purling in the next step. So if you look at your needle, we had originally cast on 14, and now there's 17 stitches on there because of those three loops we added. So the whole next, the whole point of the next row is to, you know, work that row because you have to work a bunch of rows of knitting, duh. Um, but it's also to work two stitches together wherever we added those loops to get you back to the, the number of stitches you want in that row. So, 
Got to work our two garter stitches. And then we will purl three. And then we've come to that first loop we added. Then purl two together and purl one. And then we got this, we're at the second loop that we added. Need to get rid of that. So purl two and purl one again. And then we've come to that third loop, which we will purl together with the loop next to it, and then work the rest of the row like normal. So now if we look at the right side of our work, we have successfully knit this daisy motif right there. And like I said, these two were worked right-handed, so they're one stitch to the right of where this one is worked. But see, three little fans all in a row. And this will look even better as if you look at these two rows, these two uh, motifs for reference. It'll look even better when you've got a few rows of stock in it in between to give it something to be offset against.